Hey there, Pete Buckwald here with a quick tutorial on how to make logic follow chords. So if you grab some kind of loop over here and you want it to follow the chords of your song, how do you do that? Um, the easiest way I've found to do this is to have some kind of MIDI keyboard hooked up before you do this and to be able to play the chords you want just in root position, whole notes. Um, so if you can do that, that'll help immensely. So let's say I want to write a song and I want to involve mandolin. Maybe for the final production we'd have an actual mandolin player, but at least for the, the songwriting process, let's say we just wanted a basic sound like this. It makes me feel so cheerful. So drag and drop it in here. I'm not going to import the tempo, tempo information, thank you. But do make note of the original key. So let's remember that the it's in the key, recorded in the key of A, it was recorded at 70, which is just about the half, half time of this, which since it's even, evenly divides into it, or close to it, it, I think the sample will be fine. But it, it can get odd if the, the, sam the key and the tempo are really far off, or it can't be easily divisible. Alright, so there's a mandolin, let's grab it, some kind of bass sound. Southern spy base. She spy. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh... All right. This is gonna be MIDI. Let's grab that. Key of C. Tempo's 110. All right. So <clears throat> it it should work as well, even though it's green and MIDI. It, it should still apply. So we'll hit the letter O that will close our right hand window. We'll select our cheerful mandolin, hit the letter L, and it stretches it out to the end of our song. We close the same letter. Select the southern and then letter L. Okay, so here's what they sound like together. Great, they're just going to keep going that chord forever. What happens if we open our global tracks into this triangle? And one of the defaults is that it shows the key signature. Let's say we want to change this to the key of A, where our mandolin was originally recorded. So let's change it, see what we get. Huh. Alright, so the, what happened was the, this bass did not follow it. I'm going to move this back up to C, so that they at least start in the same key. Al alternatively, I could have entered a transpose over here for this track. Uh, down here. But I don't want to confuse us. So, let's just keep in the same key. There we go. So they're playing the same key. Leave it there. But how do we enter the chords? Here we go. Go to Global Tracks. We're going to right click. So if you don't have two mouse buttons, hold down control, click, right there, chord, select that. Then we got this new region here in the ruler bar. So the little triangle here, open it up. It's asking to analyze, but it has we don't have anything to analyze. And this is where being able to play the chords in in real time is going to help us out. So let's mute those other two tracks for now. We'll get this arm to record. We'll open up this little keyboard, chordy piano. Now let's go and start recording. Just get some chords in. Oops. I goofed up. Shoot. Try again. Keep it simple. that up, but I think I can fix that pretty easily. Oops, hitting all these buttons by accident. Alright, so I had a mistake somewhere around here. 
If I double click it, uh, Command 6. There we go, that's my mistake. So it's, we can select this and quantize the whole note. There you go, see a little snap. Alright, <clears throat> so now that we have our chords for our song entered, we can highlight this region and then hit this word analyze. And there's our chords. Now I've noticed but sometimes it takes a little while for these chords to kick in to have these follow that. Let's mute our guide track and take a listen and see if it works right away or if we have to wait until it kicks in. So that, in a nutshell, is how to get uh, these audio files and even the MIDI files to, to follow your song. So note that this means that if you want to create a new MIDI track of some kind, that whatever you want to play in real time, it's going to follow that as well, even if you don't want it to. It's So you cannot record a real MIDI track along with this. You're going to have to do all your production for this type of stuff and bounce it down to a stereo track and get that into a new session that doesn't have a chord um, ruler in there to, to, to take charge of everything because I've not found a way to go into this track for example and to tell it to not follow this chord progression I tried these different check boxes and stuff like that so if somebody knows how to do that that would be great information for us Alright, this is Pete Buckwald signing off. I hope this has been helpful.